Hi, Gemini, welcome to Wobbly Camera Tarot, and let's get straight into it. Present position, present expectation, unexpected, short term future, long term future. Gemini, this is looking really good with the exception of that five, but we'll clarify that for you. Um, looks like a love reading. You've got the two of cups there, which is the soulmate card. So, yeah, soulmate energy. People go, well, I'm single, and that's not going to change anytime, too. Then this is your higher self. So, this is you and your significant other really jumping into each other's universes end of hostility so if there has been any kind of falling out recently that's all over with this week jump straight in third to the ninth of april is going to be mwah, lovely um be careful if you don't want to get pregnant though that is a card of fertility emperor's card it's a card of sensuality it's a card of it's a delicious card it's a really yeah sexy sound you know sexy but in a, in, in a not in an r-rated sexy way so it's a sexy sensual card is it a card of nurturing and caring and fertility now it, it could be all the kind of mothering things but it could also just mean this it, it's fertile it's ripe for ideas you know if you've got a new idea for a channel or you, you know you want to go and see your boss it's it, about a new idea that you've got this is really well placed this week present expectation as well is you've got a new start coming in with real passion and enthusiasm so any of the creative arts are really well favored this week as well so again same thing if you've got a great idea now is the time to pitch it and the more creative the better it's going to go um if it involves other people and it's a real kind of it's not a selfish endeavor you know if you can pull other people into it as well so much the better the unexpected card is the six of uh, six of pentacles this talks about, it's hard to see on this card, there's actually six coins on here. There's three down at the bottom, hard to see in this light. Three down at the bottom with, with ivy growing up them, and then three at the top that have been used. So it's a card of, you know, I always think if you're going to go into a relationship, you've got to give 100%. There's no point in you going, well, I'll, I'll give 45 and see it. You know, and then the other person goes, I'll see your 45 and raise you five. And you go, I call your 50 and I'll raise you, I'll re raise to 75. Don't do that, just go all in. You know, this is my pot of love. I'm going all in on the relationship, or I'm going all in on this adventure. That's what the passion and enthusiasm card does here. You commit, you know, let's go all in on this rather. So don't hold back over the next couple of weeks. That to me is don't hold back. Uh, next week itself got the moon card, which is untapped potential. You know, you don't you don't know how powerful you are, how great this idea is, how how well loved you are. You you kind of have an idea, because I always say to people, I know what's going in on in my head, and I have no idea what's going on in yours. You know, you can be sat opposite someone telling them your life story, and they might be crying inside and going, "Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry." They might also be going. Have we got any toilet paper left or do I need to go to the shops tomorrow? Sorry, what were you saying, Steve? You know, it doesn't, you you can't, you can't think that you're in somebody else's head. It's just not true. They'll tell you one thing and mean another. But this is definitely commit, commit, commit. You know, whatever you're going to do, give it 100%. Real passion and enthusiasm, real generation of ideas, this gestation, this, this fertility. It's got a real buoyant reading here. And then we get to the moon card. And the moon card can go either way. Sometimes the moon can be cold-hearted. You know, it's a cold moon or a blue moon. This isn't that. This is moonlight really lighting your path, really lighting the way. I go to bed much later than my wife and children. And I go upstairs some days and I think there's a light on. And it's the moon. And the sunlight is bouncing off that marble in the sky. And the back garden is like daylight. It's incredible. Sometimes I stand there and just, just look at it. It's like, it's in black and white, obviously. But other than that... It's like, this is amazing, the amount of light that it's putting out. And that's what it is. You've got a tremendous amount of energy and power. Yeah. And I think it's a little bit surprising um, as well. And then we get to the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a scarcity mindset. It's a, it's a card of being found out. It's a card of um, worrying that you're not good enough. It's a card of lack, a real card of lack as well. That's probably the biggest phrase. You know, you know some days you just feel like, there's something missing is i don't know what it is i'm just not tip top there's just something not right that's what this card does and that's the next one two three weeks so we're going to try and kick that into touch and we'll do that by clarifying here for you um so let's see gemini where we're up to 
see what we can get with this. Eight of Swords, that's three times that's cards come out. We're only on reading four, aren't we? Yep. Page of Swords, love to see that. Love to see that. It's been on there as well. That's come out before. Make sure I've given these good shuffle. I always do. Two of Cups doubling down on that. Definitely something to do with relationships this week. And doubling down with the moon as well. Right. Okay, so this is about relationships. Uh, oh, wow. What a great card to get on the bottom. Oh, you've got the Ace of Cups. Let's talk about the Ace of Cups first because that's doubling down on the theme. So we've got what is clearly a relationship reading. I'm not seeing it as kind of a full lovey-dovey reading, but this is definitely about a relationship. Could be early doors in a relationship. It could be you've been out, going out together for decades and, you know, it, it's 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 not... There's no frisson on here. There's no... It, this doesn't feel like you've just started going on a date. So if you are going on a date, I think you're meeting an old soul, you know, rather than someone young and funky. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. The Ace of Cups is, is another ace. So you've got this fantastic start again. This is heart on your sleeve. This is committing to your your ideas, your dreams. In the True Black deck, it's actually got poppies that the, the cup is watering and poppies stand for ideas and dreams. So it's it's really about that intent and focus. So, for example, you go to the shops and you buy a pot plant, you put it on the window and you walk away for two weeks. Guess what? In the end of two weeks, it's dead. However, if you give the leaves a wipe every other day and keep watering it and top it up and give it a bit of feed, it's five times the size. And that's like anything. That's like love. That's like money. You attend to it. You do something with it. It'll grow. If you just stick it under the mattress and leave it there, it's not going to do anything, you know mattress might catch fire and it might burn to nothing but it's just going to be if if it definitely won't grow at the very least it will stay the same and obviously then with inflation it'll be worth less blah blah blah. but you know my point is if you've got dreams and hopes you need to water them with intent and focus and determination and go i want i want this thing to become this thing to grow into this thing and then on top of here we have um so on top of the empress you've got the eight of swords there's a couple of scarcity cards here and this is another one eight of swords is a card of woe is me you know a card of constriction it's um oh, I'm, I'm not going to go for that new job because because what you know the the bonds that, that are tying this woman are really loose they, they're, they're deliberately drawn like this heidi knows what she's doing she's drawn these loosely so you can literally just pull your hand out or, or even just breathe in and they would all fall to the floor, take the blindfold off. And then what, what's the brick? There is no danger here. There are eight swords and a, and a plain landscape. There's nothing to worry about. Making mountains out of molehills, you're going, oh, look at, look at how crap I am. And everyone's going, beg your pardon? No one was even looking in your direction. And you're going, look at the shit job I'm doing over here. Come and have a look. You know, and it's like, one, you're not doing a shit job. And two, why are you drawing attention to your negatives? You need to step out of that right now um gemini you're better than that page of swords on top of the ace of wands page of swords is the card of of cutting through the red tape it's a card of momentum it's a card of the storm is passing and you're like i've had enough of this look at the wind howling that's blowing a pigtail like that you know the pigtail's blowing di you know horizontally in the wind so you're you're facing this this sort of howling gale it's like no i'm not going anywhere and it's a great card of of keeping the momentum going, the intention, and cutting you through the red tape and going, enough is enough, I want to get on with this now. In the unexpected position, we've got the Four of Swords. So, you know, I'm saying make sure you give 100%, make sure you really commit to something. That doesn't say that when you've done that, if you're exhausted, you can't take a break. If you need a rest, take a rest. Yeah, this is a card of solace, respite, um, and allowing that, that sort of downtime to to enable you to kind of upload a few things and and i know what it is it, it's almost like you need a, a half a day to go in your own head and just tidy up all the shelves in, in your brain library you know it's all a bit oh, work's been fizzy and my partner's been a bit fizzy and then you know stuff at school's been going on and then food bills and there's a bit of other stuff and then my dad's not very well and there's lots of things going on and what you really want to do is just decompress a little bit and the universe is going, please decompress. We've got a little blessing for you. We've got a little treat, but you can't see it because you're so about everything else. So make sure that next week you take a little little time for yourself. Definitely a love reading because we've got the two of cups again. And, and here, you know, we've got the, see how we've got the two lilies that tie in with the lilies from the ace of cups. This is real, genuine, 
love, care, commitment for another person. It, it does feel like a personal reading rather than um, a business one. But it could be, you know, you're very taken with your boss. They're a fantastic boss and they've really, you know, your career's coming on leaps and bounds because of it. But your boss also thinks you're the bee's knees as well. So it's it's a very mutually uh, beneficial system that's going on here. And it's great to sit on top of the moon card like that as well because the moon can sometimes be a little bit two-faced because you think about moonlight, it's actually sunlight bounced off a marble. It's not real, whereas sunlight is real, true. The sunlight comes to us. Moonlight is not actually a real thing. It's just a reflection. But in this instance, seeing the both cards has been really positive because you've got it here as well. What the universe is asking with this card here is stop drawing attention to your negatives, but bring them to the surface so you can deal with them. The crayfish comes to the surface. This is this is old worries and niggles and anxieties. Dredge them up so that you can deal with them. You can stick them in the cold light of day and go, that's not as much of a worry as I thought. A good example of that would be we often worry about our money situation. And whether your money situation is good, bad or middling, what you need to do is get it down on paper. You know, if someone, if, if you go, my, I don't know, my outgoings are $1,000 a month. Let me see what me and my partner are bringing in. And you go, oh, we're bringing in $2,500 a month. In which case, we should be having more money than we thought. What we're spending it on. And you got six, you, you both got a Netflix subscription instead of one of you. You know, stuff like that. So it's it's about, the moon is about bringing stuff to the surface so it can be dealt with in the cold light of day. So let the moon, everything kind of, yeah, everything's coming out of the woods because it's dark and it can't be seen. And what you're doing is the moon's letting it all come out, then it's going to put a fence behind them. And then in daylight, we can see what we've got. We can see what we've trapped and we can deal with it. And we can go, it's not a huge bear, you know, it was a rabbit. It just sounded at night really scary. Okay, so it's going to put things in perspective. And then your final one is an animal thread card. I'm going to have to read this one. I've had this before. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. Let's see what that says then. 52. Do you know we've had 50 and 53. We had 51 the other day as well. So the 50 is very popular. In ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was revered for the creative magic of scarab beetle spirit. It reminds us we can bring forth something extraordinary, seemingly out of thin air. Whenever you let your creativity flow through you, the scarab beetle spirit reminds you spirit has given you the gift of infinite potential. That's what the moon is, infinite potential. You have an ally as you fashion something new or repurpose the old because spirit co-creates with you. Chan chan try that again. Channeling energy through you so you feel replenished and vitalized as you make magic with what is at hand. Now is the time for great optimism, for you can accomplish anything you desire and your creative endeavors will come to fruition. Miracles, opportunity, abundance, and love will appear seemingly out of nowhere as you allow spirit to work through you and magically manifest what you need. Bloody love that, Gemini. That's going to be great. Well, I hope that comes true. So get away, you know, go and enjoy the rest of your week and get magically manifesting. And I will see you next week for more of the same. Take care.